Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foiled Fox, and today I'm featuring a card using the Waffle Flower Happy Day stamp set. It has that adorable bear on the bicycle and other friends like a birds, bees, and butterflies, the three bees. And um, it has the wonderful sentiment, a good day to be happy. So I thought this would be a perfect summer project. Um, I'm first starting out with a piece of watercolor paper and then stamping all the little critters that I wanted to include in the card. And I'm stamping it using the VersaFine ink so that it's waterproof. And here I'm just adding a little bit of clear water so that I can blend the um, colors of the bear. Because the bear is a little bit larger, I find that to be uh, necessary. Now there's quite a bit of coloring in this. As you can see, there's all those um, critters in there. So I want, it's gonna take a few minutes, but um, just sit back and relax and uh, listen to the music, and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, we're nearly done with the coloring. We're just a few, adding a few extra touches here. And as soon as the coloring is finished, then I'm going to hit it with a heat tool because I'm never patient enough to make sure everything is dry. And then we'll get started with cutting it out. I'm going to start out with the bear with the bicycle, and I'm cutting around the outline first. I'm sorry, a little hump half camera there. I had to get close. My eyes aren't quite what they used to be. I'm 
Okay, so I'm using an X-Acto knife and cutting out some detail areas so the background can show behind it. And then as soon as this is finished, then I'm going to go on to cutting out all the other little elements. And that will just take a minute to get done and um, then we'll move on. Here I'm using a black um, gel pen. I was just coloring in the little eyes and then moving on to cutting these out. When you use the black gel pen, it makes the eyes kind of pop a little bit because it makes them a little bit glossy. So it's just a little extra touch that you can add if you'd like to. As soon as these are all cut out, then we're going to go on to doing the background. Here I have a piece of Bristol paper and I'm I'm, you cut, I'm ripping the edge of some post-it tape that I'm using as my grass line and I'm setting that down. It's going to be as a mask so I can take tumble glass and I can blend that for the sky. And once that gets all blended, then I'm going to add some little um, flowers. And again, that tape's going to act as a mask. And I'm going to use Memento ink to stamp those flowers because I want to color with Copics um, the little flowers and so uh, it's Copic friendly and that's a great ink to use so I'm stamping that again like I say as a mask and as soon as, as you can see it didn't stamp all the way and so I'm using that Sigma pen um, the Micron Sigma pen and coloring that in got a little ink there as that happens and so and you'll see that little spot so I'm using the Tombow Mon mono eraser great tool if you don't have it run right over to foiledfox.com right now and get one because you can't live without them it takes all those little boo-boos out of there so now with mowed grass i'm blending on the grass and i'm going to also add a little bit of crushed olive just to give it a little bit not so monotone and then i'm going to use um, a distress mow grass marker and I'm just coloring in little grass areas I'm going to use a Sigma pen too and just define that area then using the Heidi swap confetti stencil I and some um, white shimmers ink by Delicata I'm putting in some little circles I'm also going to use crust olive into the grass and I'm going to add those little circles I just thought they were kind of fun when that's done uh, and good and dry, I'm going to color in the flowers. You can see the Copic colors right above there and the little green foliage. And I'm just coloring those in and you can see our scene is coming together. And as soon as these get all colored, then I'm going to use some a Lawn Fawn uh, scallop dye and I'm going to position it where I want it and then use a little washi tape, hold it in position and run it through the die cutting machine. Next with a stamp positioning tool that was really fast, sorry about that, I stamped the sentiment. And now with another piece of Bristol paper, I'm coloring with squeezed lemonade the background um, and I'm not going to worry about the center because it's not going to be shown I'm just coloring that in and then I'm going to use the radiating rays stencil by my favorite things and worn lipstick and I'm making those rays and it gives just a fun um, background to the background and I used a chomper to round the corners you didn't see that there sorry that got cut out and so I'm taping this down and putting it onto a white card base. Then I'm going to put with foam tape, I'm going to put the um, grass seam down. And as soon as that's done, then we can get started with putting our little elements on there. This is my favorite part. I'm using some foam tape and adding the bear and then um, just deciding where all the others are going and using a tape runner and putting them where I think they might be the cutest. Um, I just, you know how that is with positioning things. You just have to do a little bit of fussing here and there. 
you can see that I go to put that foliage right behind him and I'm thinking, oh, he looks a little bit more like, too much like a beaver. So I took that off. Then I added some um, stencil with using a two-way two glue pen. And then uh, off camera, I did add a little bit of silver thread at the top with a bow. And you can see that picture as it's completed on the blog again at foilfox.com. And so thank you. That's all finished. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much.